So I thought I'd get all smart at the beginning of this episode and work my way over to this room that we had missed so I can get in there and, you know, get get the last collectible that we have on this planet. And I start running over, because I have to come down from the ship, which is up here, and it went down. And I figured I'd run over here and then quick travel off over there, right? Right? All makes sense. All makes sense. Except I'm running this way, and uh, I realize that there was something down here. There's like straight up an echo here that I missed. Which is Doesn't not on the map. Doesn't look like there were any survivors. And the Jedi, no sign of them. Search. Uh, purge troopers search the base following the takeover. Um, under strict instructions to surveil the area and find the Jedi, if you remain. So, that, like, it wasn't even showing on the... Okay, come on. There it is. It wasn't even showing on the map that I missed something. So that was just, like, a little bit extra. This is a little extra, which I think is so cool. I hadn't even considered that there might be new stuff here because of that. Um, I center myself. I kind of wish that it just would increase it. Um, like when you got here being like, hey, there's some new stuff. <laughs> like, feel free to search around and get this new stuff. Like this area has a new thing and that area has a new thing. Because then I feel like I'd be able to get everything if there is indeed a bunch of new stuff. Like, is there stuff here now in boats? I don't know. I could slice this. Uh, it's just as room. Like, there's nothing here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Let's go get this thing. I think this is going to be the last thing. Pretty sure it is. Oh, lots of purge troopers. Okay. Wow, they like really went ham here. Uh, you know what? That's not the one I wanted to attack. Alright. I see how this is going to go. I'm really going to need to... He's going to do his little thing. Okay. Here's the problem. I need I need a moment to, like, get at this guy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't have a time to, like, to, to pull him down. No, why did it switch targets? Stop. Stop, game. Look, there's a guy here. Grab onto him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this is going to be way easier. It's not going to run over here. And I can't believe I got that guy on the back swing. That was great. Hey, let's do this again. <laughs> Just set it up. Oh, man, the immunity frames there saved my life. You're dead. And you're dead. <laughs> yeah, look, there's new stuff. What's he doing? Ah! They were scared of me. Oh, this is so cool. Rampage. ISB officers are caught in Cal's rampage as he chases Bode. The officers are gripped by fear and alarm at this uh, at this new enemy's ferocity. Maybe help, please. In that case, I guarantee you that there's a bounty hunter here. And. I probably should have gone to Kobo first and picked up some bounties for that very reason. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see you, my guy. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck in the, in the middle here. You. Okay, he's down. Go ahead. Knock him down. Kill this guy. No, why did you drop kick him, game? Actually, you know what? That's a good point. I need to drop kick people. Uh, I, I was going through the achievements yesterday after talking about them, and there is an achievement. <laughs> if you know, you know exactly what I'm about to do. There is an achievement to drop kick someone wearing a mullet. It's the roundhouse kick achievement. There it is. Now we can get in here. Give it to me. Maybe I just couldn't have gotten in before. Perk? Give me a perk? Uh, wanna give me a perk? No. I don't need any more skill points. I have so many skill points. I see, this is curious. Should I just like keep following this through and I guess check all these echoes out? Please don't kill me. Why not? You failed. Boat set up the ISB. Yeah. Irrelevant. In the wake of Nova Garen's bruising at the hands of Cal. 
Kurdish troopers are dispatched to assess the situation and reprimand its garrison. Oh yeah. See, now we're we're 100%. We've gotten everything. Do I still work my way through? I guess I can pop up here and go back this way. Uh, back to the ship. I guess. I mean, the other option is to head off over to here, take the elevator up, and then go back to the ship. I guess we could do that. I could, I could hit up the guy's office, maybe. Okay, you know what? That's not who I wanted to throw that at. But, you know, it works. They're like, oh god, he's back again. Alright, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Alright, we're not gonna do it. I, I really need to... There we go. I believe that would have given me the achievement. The thing is, the achievements aren't popping up. They're not popping up. There's also one... for uh, attacking the little training dummy wearing the bandana. Well, like Cobra Kai, I think is what it's called. Okay, you know what? There's so many of you nerds. I don't have enough force power at the moment. I gotta let all this like come back. You like that little dodge there? You all saw that. That was a beautiful dodge. Now, Am I really too worried about dying to these guys? Not really. I've got so much health. That I don't think... Um, I don't think they can actually necessarily kill me unless they got me like, really screwed here by these guys. No. Sure, I'll do that. Well, uh, I don't have enough pool juice. <laughs> okay, your turn. Did I? No, Mr. Trooper. I expect you to die. Can I go back up there? I'm assuming I can. I kind of want to go check and see if there's a new uh, 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 force thing. What do you, what's it called? Echo. Force Echo. And it's like, hey, uh, you know, Commander Johnny is now the, <laughs> the supreme commander here. Oh, there is a thing. Look at this. It's you. Oh, Darth Vader showed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that ended him. Denvik's fate. Uh, Denvik, his failure now complete. Is a last is at last dealt with. That's mm, I was kind of thinking about this the other day. That's kind of the problem with using Vader is that he can't die. He can't die. He has to get well at this point he can't die right because he has to get to Star Wars Episode Four, Five, and Six, and in order to do that he's got to live. That's just a fact, right? It doesn't, nothing changes about that. He's got to live to get there. Uh, do I want to just walk through here? Cause like that, that door is green, which makes me think that because the door back here was green, that maybe there's something new over there too for these four seconds. Oh yeah, look at this. Perfect. Slaughter. Several stormtroopers fall victim to Cal as he rampages through the base as he chases Bode. Pretty cool. Uh, and it showed this little door is green, so I may as well go look over here. What do we got here? We got a uh, Viper droid. Anything up here? Maybe, maybe I just kind of look around. I, I'm kind of enjoying this actually, of going through and no, lock onto the freaking droid. No, just bounce it off the wall. Where'd the droid go? <laughs> wow. The freaking timing on the... I, I actually may need to change that perk out because the timing on the deflects are brutal. That was kind of hard to damage him. Goodness. 
I feel like I'm nailing it and I'm just like not. <laughs> hey, you. Here we go. No, get over here. There we go. I see Mr. Rocket Boy up there. Rocket Man! <laughs> uh, I intentionally let it go early. <laughs> I did. I intentionally let it go. I was like, there's no way that I'm gonna let this guy not fall to his death. I'm either gonna push him down or I'm gonna drop him early. Drop him early was the way to do it. Right, so I, I went all this way just to come into here. We know that there's one down there. There wasn't one on the other elevator, so I'm actually gonna pop back down this way and take the other elevator so I don't have to fight through all those troopers. But can? There we go. Well, you know what? I have my dark side power. I could just, I could just go take them out. They're kind of brutal. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna heal real quick, just, just because I can. I don't know if I got that achievement, so I, I'm gonna try to drop kick one more guy <laughs> and uh, make sure, it, you know, make sure it sticks with the mullet. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna come in. And immediately use this and go right to the back lines. Take the take the annoying guys out. No, 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 no. You. Purge troopers going down, baby. Boom. Easy peasy. Droid time. I really should have hacked him. I don't know why I didn't. Both of you. Down. Ow. That hurt. There we go. Oh yeah, let's get out of that. Here we go. Down, boy. Jeez, that took all my stamina out. Let's heal. Back out, back out. Nail him. Kill him. Did I hit both of them there? I think I may have only hit once. Alright, here we go. Oh, attack him. <laughs> hey! Where's it? Bring it on, boy. Oh, I didn't mean that. Ow. No, no, that's not cool. All right, let's go. Uh huh. No, he hurt me. No, you killed my friend. Oh, I'm on the wrong stance. How to explain that, huh? That's so satisfying. I love that ability so much. No, but locked in. Well, we we got that deflect just fine. Step now. Ow. <laughs> Die. Sure. <laughs> That'll do. Now we can go back upstairs. I'm not sure there were any echoes upstairs, but then again, I wasn't looking when I first came down, so that's gonna be interesting to take a look around the landing bay up here. Cause like I said, I. <laughs> You're just running through it like, aha, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna I'm gonna move forward real fast. I didn't actually realize there was a save point here. Does it show it on the map? Well, that explains it. It doesn't even show it on the map, so you, you gotta give me credit. I just wouldn't be able to see that. Force is with me. Because I like immediately wanted to get get to where I was going, make this episode slightly shorter. <laughs> not not like lengthwise, but just in the amount of random running that I have to do. But right now, as of now, we're three out of three. Six out of six, seven out of seven. Uh, and three out of three. I think that's all of them. Yep. So we are done. Another planet bites the dust. We can move on. Let's see what's out there. So we've done... Uh, I haven't done Tantalor yet. That's the next thing. We've cleared the Shattered Moon. We can't do Coruscant yet. I have those Rancor to kill. 
and I want to gather some more perks. Uh, but we've we've cleared everything else. Nova Garen's down. Jetta's down. Shattered Moon's down. Of course, I just got the Rancors and like one other thing to grab, and then Kobo is our next thing. So we're finally moving on to the, to Kobo. the big app. Are on me. Uh, actually, uh, forget that last bit. I'm gonna assume that I got the. It is good that she was able to save way. some of it. What's that? Seer, her work, the archive. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. She was always brave and stubborn. One heck of a lady. I like that they still have conversations and still have stuff to talk about. I suppose that if you're tr traveling around enough that maybe they, they run out of lines to use. It's a kind of an interesting idea that eventually they'll just all not talk anymore. Grab but, some seat, Cal. That's what happens in like Dragon Age and Mass Effect. Eventually they just don't say anything else or they repeat their lines. They're like, Inquisitor? <laughs> You've been at this table 200 times in this one playthrough. When you only required to come back here 50, we ain't got nothing stuff to say. We're out of lines. Okay. Ah, yes. The frame rate crash of Kobo. How I missed ye. Not. We got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> I guess we just take it one spot at a time, right? Um, first things first, I'm gonna head up over to our, our uh, garden. It's, I, I haven't come back since the last time we did some gardening, so I wanna see if there's new plots open. Okay, this is really impressive. Yeah, cause everything's grown. you found new seeds. Plant one and I'll tell you all about it. Right, the thing is, we have Wonderful. planted. Wonderful, new seeds. Plant one, I'll share its details. But I have planted them, right? Oh, it's so annoying. All right, talk to her. That fire pineapple will bloom, I am sure of it. Cut past the roots, and the fruit beneath is quite delicious, if you can endure its pungency. Fire pineapple. Okay. Uh, fire pineapple is this... Uh, I'm not even gonna... There's no reason to read this. Can I, like knock this stuff out. I, I've totally filled this one plot, right? It looks like it. This other stuff taking its sweet Garden time. Can to... use some of the new seeds I found. What new seeds? I don't remember finding no new seeds. Yeah, those, those, those. I think it's just different colors. I think I've already got all this stuff. At least I thought I did. A pine fern. Delightful. Its foliage shifts colors with the temperament. Quite dazzling. I wonder what color it will display on Kobo. Pine fern. Yep, it's a fern. You clearly have a talent for this, Cal. Thanks. Breeze taught me a little. How long have you been gardening? Since I was a child. I've always enjoyed the company of plants. In my adolescence, I joined a well-respected nursery. My work became a passion, and I soon stumbled upon an innovation what was it hybridizing diverse genotypical specimens with novel macrocosmetic environments jeez a mouthful yes i mean that i developed a talent for growing new plants in new places well these specimens are lucky to have you here that's what they tell me <laughs> oh wow. hello so still no new plots opened up huh you ain't got nothing for me yet yeah, we're getting quite the green thumb, huh, BD? Yeah, too bad we ain't got quite the thing unlocked. Come on now. That's the problem is I need this unlocked. So... I appreciate your time and effort, Cal. Maybe, maybe I just replace some of these. So we got some, like, plants here. Yeah, warning, confirm. There you go, little seed. We'll plant a couple of those. Um, we got, we're going to make sure we have one of each fern, I think. We'll go there. Um, can I go back? Seeds? Okay, we'll make sure that one is that one. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, bluebells, uh, what is it? Squish. Okay. Yeah, so these are... And planted. Single seeds as well. And then the spine fluff. See, this is the problem is I'm actually unsure... 
of what I have planted on the other ones. So at this point, it's just like, let's get this all just planted in. Uh, yeah, let's do one here. Firm. Okay, the seed is in. What about this one? Can I, can I plant this one here? Firm. Oh, I got rid of that. That one with the three. And we'll do this one here. It's gonna, it's gonna be kind of awkward. And uh, we'll do cactus. And one more of the other cacti. Good there. Luck, bro. Okay, oh, wait. Uh, back to the small plot. Let's do another fluff. Here we go. Get, get some fluff in. Look at me, green thumb over here. Fire pineapple. Volution yellow. Can I get can I get one over here? Yeah, just clear that out, baby. I mean, hopefully all that grows pretty quick. Um, what do what do all I right. have here? Ready to do some gardening? Did did I do a? No, I don't think I did a Nubuian green one. Solution yellow mm. Nubuian. Green. All these variants would be great. Yeah, let's let's just pop this here. Here's your new home. Wow, that was not what I wanted to do. Maybe maybe put it here. There we go. That'll that'll leave me with some space. Uh, to do. And I already have one of those. I can see it right there. Garden in peace, and you bring peace to all. The jelly spire things are annoying. I've got one. There. Put this would be here. a good place for it. I guess I could do a blue one. I don't know, like here, here. And then this one here. And now we got to fill out these other ones with some mediums. And now we wait. And then some singles. This is the most boring part of the playthrough, in my opinion. If you're like, hell yeah, man, I love plants. You let me know. You let me know if you're that guy. If you just, this rocks your socks over here. You're like, plant another fern, just do it. I just need one more fern, please. We'll grow safe here. Okay. I for sure have now filled these plots in. Give me more land. That's all I gotta say. Right, let's uh, let's do some things. So, unobtained droid upgrade down here. Really? Oh, right. That's the. Yeah, we got that. Let's go. Let's go downstairs. Talk. Talk about some bounty hunters. You know what I mean? I think I have one or two to turn in. We we've, we've been busy a while. Come on, open sesame. Thank you. Lots of loading here. Go to Z's shop or not? Can I not shop at Z's shop? Am I not allowed to? Did I buy everything? Hmm, I don't think I did. Because I still have more High Republic things to do. Honestly, that actually is probably... Hey, Good to see you. My next focus okay. is getting all of those done today? for the, the other upgrade. Alright, uh, we have five pucks to do, so... Hmm. I think... What is this? An upgrade to Cal's charge shot. Now hits nearby enemies around the target. Yeah, can I... I buy that? Stun shot, slice B1 droid, B2 droid. I don't really need those. I'm gonna go ahead and grab three pieces here. So we're gonna get this. This will be useful. Piece there. You know this piece here. The rain, that right? piece there. Go on. I'm sure you have places to be. All right. I don't want to shop. I need to talk to you. Heads up, killer. Sorks almost just doubled your bounty in one of the broods. Killers has come to collect. The name's Kilioso, but the guild knows him as the Closer. <laughs> the Closer. He's a small army to Jetta looking for you. Small army, huh? We're ready. That's what I like to hear. Take down a heavy hitter like Kilioso, and you'll be making a statement. Cool. We got another one. All right, can I talk to her again? No. So, I mean, the benefit is I, I do find a lot of these out in the world as I'm going. 
All right, what else do we have here? We got two upgrades still on the Hollow Tactics. That leads me to the Mantis. Maybe, maybe I go do some Hollow Tactics. Maybe. I mean, I spent a lot of time getting those done. I may as well just finish it. I think there's only like two or three Hollow Tactic things left, and we know how to do it. Droidicas are OP. That's how we do it. Care to challenge someone, Hollow Tactician? Yeah. What do we have left? Scuva, uh, T1 and 8, and someone else. All right, Scuva, bring it on, boy. <laughs> These guys. Okay. I have 28 points. We know uh, that we can go 24, or at least just one of these guys, maybe. The problem is those backliners are kind of a pain in the booty. And I want some carry over here. So we could go 16. And then maybe like this guy here and see how that goes with a carry over of five, maybe. We're putting the droidic out of the test. Like, I just need the raider to kind of like withstand this guy for a second. Get the shield down. Alright, Droidica, come on, boy. Come on, boy. I really needed him to take out the Gatling gun in the back. I mean, honestly, it's going pretty good for us. Oh! It's so close. It appears your strategy wasn't up to the challenge. You say that, but it almost was. <laughs> it it almost was. So okay, so if that wasn't super great, what if we go? What if we just do the the carry over four instead of the five and see how this goes? Come back. So I already have one of the Gatling guys down. Now that's a Two of them down. Kill. Now we got oh, shieldy we boys. A yeah, we got them. Easy. A strong round for Cal. <laughs> can we beat this whole thing with droidicas? All right, we're at 26. I can go carry over two. I'm not sure if I need to. The problem is the rocket guy back there. That is a big pain in my butt. Um, I am tempted. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to Magna Guard. And see how that goes. So we know first round is double Droidica. Second round. Goodness. Yeah, okay. Second round, Magna Guard and Droidica. <laughs> Let him blow his own dudes up. Round by Cal Kestis. Love to see it. We got six carryovers. So this one, this one's looking like Droidica. And oh, I don't have enough for the Scryton. Mogu, maybe? I've never tried the Mogu. Maybe the Mogu would be really good against the Purge Troopers. Let's try it. <laughs> We're experimenting, boys. Yeah. Kaiju fight. Hit with that. Oh, so long farewell. Oh my goodness, that was good. That's the round to Cal Kestis. The Mogu is mean. All right. Uh, oh, they they're they've learned. They've learned. They're like, "Boys, what we need are droidicas." <laughs> So why not fight one droidica with two droidicas? Go! That should work. Oh my goodness, the shield guy is just absorbing all the hits. No, this is not going to work for us. No, what? stop shooting the guy with the shield. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Okay, B2 dead. Chance. What happens when the unstoppable force hits the immovable object? <laughs> this is what we're learning here. This may never end. <laughs> Because unlike in the game, 
when you can take out the shields. Oh, oh, it's my... Huh? We just need him to move forward a teensy bit. Just a teensy bit. <laughs> no, no, no. Just take a step forward. Man, he's great at blocking. This is like MVP. Look at this guy. This is a god among men over here. He is like, uh, what's his face from 300? Oh, what's the, what's the, the Spartan's name? He's just, he is holding him off. I can't believe I've broken it. I mean, is he moving? He, he has moved some. Oh, 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 ah, oh, we got him. Eventually the 300 did fall. Oh, it never stood a chance. <laughs> Oh, uh, give me that mustache and patch. Suck it, Scuba. Uh, all right, final one. Oh, that's not fair. I only have 16 points against this damn thing. I need to not have much carryover. This is going to be a tough one. Because I need the Droidica to do a job. From the yeah, but the problem now, is if I just had Droidica, it would have... I mean, I guess I could put just a random droid there. Oh, come on with this. Jeez, oh, okay. This and... I mean, two Droidica actually may not be a bad thing here. That leaves us with three carryover. <laughs> I love the Droidica. <laughs> this is how you win this. You just, you just use Droidicas. <laughs> Except that's a hollow kill. I need I need a Tough I need a break, flesh bag break. to take the hit there. Two Droidica oh, on the second round is not the way to do it. I mean obviously we just saw that. So what we're gonna do is I do like the Droidica on the first one. But I feel like I don't need so much power right at the start. Go! I just need something to absorb the hit so I can die. Perfect. Just like that. Well done. Your strategy proved superior. Yeah, so I'm basically gonna use the same strat here. Um oh no, the game just crashed. No game! No. Okay, it put me it put me back underneath. <laughs> I'm figuring it saved my my progress. If not, I can I can just jump cut to the the next part of my hollow tactics if I have to redo some of that. Come on. Thank you. The trick here, I think, is going to be doing welcome, um welcome. Make yourself at home. Doing this over here and see if she's got more to talk about. Is it the same person? You're on a roll, Cal. Got another tip for ya. What you got? A bounty droid named Mesh has been babbling on the brood comms about that lab on the shattered moon. Go shut him up, will ya? They're a disgrace to the profession, if you ask me. Okay. We'll see about Bounty droid? Sooner or later. Atta boy. Cool. Uh, shop. Yep, Ooh, I've, I've, I've saved all that. Interested. Okay, so, by the way, will it open the map? Come on. Okay, fine. Let's go here. <laughs> um, I did get the achievement, so I can go ahead and swap off of the mullet. Uh, back to our survivor haircut. Man, I, f I think that that haircut is the prime haircut. It just looks good. I can see why that was the look that they went for for Cal throughout the game and all their marketing and whatnot, even though you could change your own. Um, I like the look of it quite a lot. Come to challenge one of your fellow tacticians. Also, Cameron's got a great head of hair, so they, they play on that. Though in in recent uh, interviews and whatnot, he has been uh, like shaven, <laughs> obviously because he's doing mocap, so he has to wear the suit. Go! It's a lot easier oh, to wear a suit a if you don't have grown hair. Oh come on now! There that we go. That was close. Some spot moves from Cal. See him through to the next round. All right, so back to this. So we're gonna go with one. Do I need to? 
That's a tough one. Do I need two? What if I just like try this? Would this work? Commence! And Cal takes one I mean, out. there we go. <laughs> the mine well is really done. good. Your strategy proved superior. Yeah, it did. I have 12 carryover. That is delicious. That is delicious. We're at 42, so we can double um, Droidica and mine and get a 13 carryover, right? That's what we're going to do. Let the battle go, begin. boy, go. All right, now it's 1v1. Whose droidica is stronger? Oh, we're both positioning. Oh, no, he's going to fire first. No, my droidica. Don't do it. Oh, this is an intense duel. This is like watching two Jedi Masters face off on Mustafar. It's over, droidica. I have the high ground. <laughs> you were the chosen one. You were supposed to save the droids, not destroy them. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Sorry. No, no. no, we were Anakin all the time. Fickle mistress. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's what you get with me. That's 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 the kind of humor you get. Oh, that's so funny. Commence! And it's off the board. So I actually think that we can still do it with that. I do think that we can still do it with that one strategy. But um I just gotta get a little luckier. Or maybe even position them slightly different. Hollow tactics! I mean, that mine works like that because they they cruise together. Uh, I thought my droidica died before that thing. I was like, how is that even possible? Wait, it did. How is that even possible? Oh, he did the little wave thing. See, there, there's a level of variance here in this that I'm very interested about. It's a little too much variance, you know what I mean? Cause like there was one time where I almost lost my droidica on this first one and then now two in a row here, it just like destroys it right away. Okay, let's try this again. Boom. And the mine does work, as we found out. But that level of variance. And it's a headbutt from the bio Come on, Droidica. Whew. Close one. <laughs> okay, right. So, Droidicas are overpowered. We know this. We know this. We have 18 points. I could be a bit smarter about this, right? Um, maybe we go with one here and then a... It's a ranged BX droid. Maybe a ranger? Or, you know what? Actually, what the, the key is? Rocket Trooper. That's how you counter the, the Droidica, for sure. That is how you counter the Droidica. Except when your stupid rocket trooper blows himself up. But hey, we got two Droidicas now. Outstanding. <laughs> Seven carryover, not bad. Oh, those things, I hate those things. Well, the way that we take care of those things. A mine. Um, unfortunately, while Droidicas are good, they're not super great against those chargers. Unless they like immediately get their shots off. <clears throat> so I would like just some real basic boys, I think. Just just some stormtroopers. In fact, actually, I want them in front of the droidicas. They're gonna be a second shield to the droidicas versus those stupid plants. Or not plants, but birds. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, and a stormtrooper lift. <laughs> the other stormtrooper did his job. Yeah, give me that data disc. <laughs> and learn. Dot, dot, dot. Hopefully. All right. Thule, 
You're the last one, boy. What is this? What's our reward? I don't Shall know. We play a game. Why'd she say that so creepy? All right, we got two flame troopers, a shield boy, and three stormtroopers in the back. We have 25 points. So the play here is a droidica, followed by a roller mine, and Ooh, this is tough actually. This one's a tough one. Maybe one BX droid. Let's try that. We're not going to get a lot of carryover in this one. Advance! No, no, droid. Freaking mine just took him out. <laughs> and I concede. Now that's a Actually, kill! the grenade <laughs> killed their shield guy, which would have absolutely and dominated me. But now board. my droidica is going to win. <laughs> oh, it never stood a chance! <laughs> that should not have worked. I literally did it with one character. <laughs> And I don't have enough points. Oh, 46. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So. How much was the... Yeah, let's get one of these. And I've got enough for a droidica. Do I need it? Do I need another 12 points? I don't know if I do. I think a, a BX droid might be enough here. Let's try it. All of tactics. Because, like, the Scorpion is so good. It just is taking all the hits here. While our, our two Rangers do everything. Beautiful. I probably could have gotten away with two BX droids, honestly, instead of the Droidica. But the Droidica is... It's like our signature move. <laughs> How many Droidica do we need for this one? Well, we got a couple BX droids. Melee and range. They have a Droidica. So... I'm going to try to counter their droidica with a rocket boy, but then I am going to use, um, this guy to basically fight in the middle. We'll see if this works. I'm hoping my rocket guy is able to do some work here. Hit the droidica. No, why would you shoot our, <laughs> even the scorpion turned around and was like, what the hell guy? Oh, it never stood a chance. Why? Why'd you shoot me in the butt? Like, he was really pissed. No, Rocket Guy, I, I gave you a job to shoot their droidica. You just killed our our primary man. And it's a corner! Uh, at least the Rocket Guy was still alive, so yes. if... <laughs> Very good. He just shot our own droidica. Okay. I mean, they have an ATSC. So, like, I guess it's only fair to have an ATST. I <laughs> mean, just enough points. <laughs> All right. Oh, our Droidica screwed. Oh, no. Oh, hey. It, to the victor belong the spoils. That was a Droidica kill if I've ever seen one. Skill point, baby. You have played... Perfectly. I know. It's because I know how to play this game. You know how you play this game? With Droidica. <laughs> Always a pleasure, Cal. We did it. Look, look, we got we got rid of that stuff. I still can't open this door yet. We're getting there. Um, that felt nice. That felt real nice. There's a thing over here. There's a rumor. Is that what this is? Hello. Hello's. Good to see you made it back. How's Pylones treating you? It's adorably derelict and entirely unique. If this cantina were on Coruscant, you could quadruple the prices and still have lines out the door. Any luck with the data pad? Ask Dorma. She's working on it. Thanks again for your help, Cal. Don't mention it. Okay. <laughs> Check on Winnie and Zig, okay. Uh, what else we got here? What do we, we have actually anything else. All right, let's go check upstairs. That's that's one thing we're going to absolutely do. Can I still not shop over here? No. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to be able to shop some more with her. Um, wait, does that go up there? Is that the way to go up? I guess it is. The more you know. I thought it was over on the other side. That was fun. I like the hollow tactics. But it's done now. It's over. Oh, Hello yeah. Really there's our new plot. Off, I've cleared another plot for you. 
Thank you for growing plants to their full potential. Yep, cool. Apparently, she likes my plots. It's all about that. Might plots. as well plant some of these seeds. Um, I don't know. I'm zooming in and out. Uh, let's go large plot. We're gonna go one of these boys. Can't put it there. But you know what? Um, you can put it there. Seems like a good place for it. Can we go a different color? Um, we go a different color on this one. And one more here. Cool. And then back to seeds. We're gonna go mediums. Hope it does well over there. This could bring some color and to the there. garden. Then I've got just singles left. All the single ladies. Let's go. Let's go with the squish. I like the squish. Go three here. Swap to the other one. one Let's there, plant this here. There. There. Boom. Bam. Boom. Cool. All those are down there. Is she gonna be like, hey, thanks? Healy, what made you stop your research? I lost my lab. Once the Empire occupied my planet, it seized my nursery, uprooting every flower, fern, and sapling. That's horrible. Worse, they repurposed my lab into a biochemical weapons facility. All my research now used as a means for death. I refused to cooperate, escaped on an unlicensed shuttle, and here I am. Oh, you're safe here. I have been told that before, but when you say it, I believe it, Cal. Oh, I'll take that. I like that. Any, any other thing to say to me? Any family back home, Peely? They did not survive the Imperial occupation. I'm so sorry. I appreciate that. My parents and siblings were soft-spoken, but all of them were defiant. Like you. I suppose. Now all I have are my plants. They are defiant in their own way. Vines can rise in their harshest temperatures. Roots penetrate the thickest ferrocrete. That is how we will defeat the Empire. Time, time, time. Okay. Anything else? Is there any plant you can't grow? Hmm. There was a rare subspecies of a Puglia blossom that I found quite stubborn. You still seem frustrated by it. No, of course not. Well, yes. It sticks with me, this one, I suppose. No matter what I did, where I planted it, how I treated the soil, it refused to grow. It was like it was acting out of spite, like a petulant child. Turns out that subspecies of Puglia blossom only grows in the wild. It only wanted to grow on its own. That's right. You have the mind of a true botanist. Okay, I figure the if I talk to her, me. I if I talk to her enough and then like go rest and then come back up, maybe we'll have a a new plot. Like that's kind of what I'm hoping. I just want the uh, the other. I just want the upgrade to see the seeds. That's kind of the big thing here, because we have we've essentially two upgrades left for BB one. We've got the one after finishing all of the High Republic um, uh, tomb things, puzzle rooms, whatever they are. Welcome and then we have make yourself at home. we have the plant one so that way we can see all of the herbs uh, which is going to be so key in getting all of the collectibles here on Kobo like that is like number one priority is to get this stupid plant one and yeah so that's what we're working on now can I rest I think if I rest it resets it maybe so that's what we're kind of hoping for here and then I go up. we'll see if this works but our priority now is this and then the High Republic uh, spots. When we finish those two things, it's clearing the rest of Kova. Like that is, that is the priority. And then finally, after that, finally after that, is to do bounties. Now, uh, what I could do here, potentially, uh, if she talks to me Listen again. Listen up, Cal. Self and Duke and his flyboys were spotted buzzing above the Kobo Observatory. They're going to rain all sorts of blasts of fire and grenades on your parade. So keep your wits about you. We'll take him down. Now you're starting to sound like a real pro, Cal. This is the most fun I've had since landing on this rock. So yeah, this this could be 
a, a, a method to doing this where I go down, I rest, I run up and I talk to her to get all of the bounties, like collect them all. That way I know where they're at and I can just go do them. Wait, no, I'm not trying to go back to Hollow Tactics. I need to send the Droidica, but you know, not, not now, not now. Maybe later. I don't think there's any other ones. I think we have finished it, technically. Our garden's almost full, buddy. Yeah, I'm not quite seeing the other one, so I'm gonna assume. We can talk later. I'm gonna assume I need to do some stuff for a little bit. Let those grow. And then once those are grown, then we can go. Ooh, look at this. We got like a little like water feature up here now. Look at that. It's nice. This is the last one. Once I get this one full, then that unlocks and we can um uh, we can get our upgrade. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff here, isn't there? There's so much stuff. Look at this map. It's just full with crap. Look at all these upgrades. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, you got 81.7% discovered. Yeah. There's a big part of all of this we haven't done yet. I mean, what I could do is just focus out the... Where are they? Relics, data banks. I guess, I guess it would be under rumors. Maybe. Um, that's a rumor. Untamed downs. Maybe. Look, I just need all the, the things. Like, here's one there, right? This one here. Those are both places I need to go down. Um, I think I've not yet gone over there. Like, there's so much stuff on Kobo. So here's here's the plan. Here's the plan. You ready for this? The plan is to do one mega episode where I do all of this. Maybe not all in one go. Maybe break it into like two or three. But where I am going to jump cut between everything. So there will be no running in between all of this stuff unless it's like here and it's like, well, there's a thing there and there's a thing here. And I can just pop up, pop up, pop up, right? But if it is like I'm going from this stuff to this stuff, I'll just cut the running kind of like I do if you've ever seen one of my Terraria episodes, just like doing jump cuts between the stuff as I pick it up and clear it out. That way you can, you still get the benefit of watching me clear everything out, but you don't get the, the, the downside of having me Ramble Garden's on nice about and lush these days, huh, BD? stupid crap for I don't know how many hours. <laughs> so that's the goal, and it should cut down the length of those episodes significantly. They'll still be long episodes because we're doing all of that stuff, but it won't have all of that middle stuff in between. So that's currently the idea for that. Um, so expect that within the next couple days. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to try to go ahead and bounty this out. And I'm going to try to get this last uh, seed upgrade before we go to the High Republic stuff. And then from there, we will, we will push forward and get all of the rest of the collectibles.